All right, hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry that I'm not using the natural light right now, but it is kind of evening time. Um, and the sun is on that side of my house and my windows are on that side. So, you know, you pick your battles. So light kit it is. So as you saw by the title, this is gonna be the um, post review of the Serene Siren Triptych from Diamond Art Club. I did get the smaller version of this, which is the 58 by 32 centimeters. It's decent sized. Um, however, if you really, really love this image, I really recommend getting the bigger one. My problem with getting the bigger one is I did not want to pay $79 for it. Yes, you heard that right. It is $78.95, I believe, from Diamond Art Club. There is just no way in hell I was going to pay that much for a single diamond painting. So I did complete it. You're asking me, why am I, why do I have the box here? Why am I opening the box? Because I completed it and put it back in the box. So I'm going to take it out and show you guys um the reason i do that is because number one i don't have any frames and number two i just i don't know where i'm gonna hang it yet and um you know we did purchase this house but there's a possibility that we might not you know live here in a year and i just feel like unless i know for sure that this is going to be their forever home um, I kind of don't want to buy frames and put a whole bunch of stuff up because I feel like that just increases my chances of getting them ruined somehow. So I did do a kitting up video for this and I did do it inside of these. Now, I didn't have a lot of issues with this. There was not a lot of trash. Um, I was going to go ahead and go through these and kind of like empty the bags out so that I could really show you guys like how much trash there was, but I didn't even think that it was going to be worth the effort because there just wasn't that much. Um, the only color that I had an issue with, let me find it, they're backwards, it was a blue, this one. I had so many drills of this that were just stuck together that were just pissing me off. You can even see there is some trash in here. Um, forgive my nails. I've had these on for almost two weeks or right about two weeks and I really need to take them off and replace them. I just haven't had a chance yet because we're approaching finals week with school. So yeah, been super busy. Um, you can see all of these like little tiny um, circles here. Those are like itty bitty baby drills. And you can see here right there. I don't know if you guys can see that one right there. It's actually like a concave one. I think you can see it in camera. I mean, I can see it in the frame. And yeah, I don't think it doesn't look like there's any in here that are stuck together. Um, right off the bat, I probably, yeah, look at all this row right here. Those are all stuck together right there. Um, this was the worst one. And that's why I specifically remember it is because it was just so bad. Um, I didn't run out or anything like that. There was some like weird pieces of trash in here. Um, let me see if I can get it to focus. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Um, yeah, I don't even know what that is or how it got in there. Um, but yeah, that was the only one that I really had a major, major issue with. I don't know why. Um, I did believe that I was going to run out of some colors because I didn't have a lot left. Like there's minimal drills left. I would say maybe a hundred of most of the colors. Some of them I did have quite a bit like the 310. We all know that, you know, they usually do give a lot of 310s, but there really isn't a lot of the colors left over and you know I mean it is what it is I I am gonna save these I wasn't going to but I did see a, a video of somebody who had them saved in like those photo boxes from Michaels and I thought it was a fantastic system that I think will work perfect for me I'm not real fond of binder systems so I really liked that one um, one thing that I want to point out is that with oh there's a drill there I hope that didn't come off the canvas 
One thing I want to point out with Diamond Art Club is I have been noticing that there's a lot of hitchhikers in Diamond Art Club drills. Like this is 310 and I've got two different colored drills in there. Um, this is 38, what is this? 3685. There's a, another hitchhiker in there. This camera keeps going super blurry and I think it's because I'm just coming so close. So yeah, here's another... 150 it's got a green one in there um you know i just i don't know i haven't really had that issue too much with other oh my gosh can you guys hear my kids too much other um companies and so i don't know what it is why diamond art clubs paintings seem to do that to me but it is what it is but yeah so now that we talked about the drills we're gonna get into the canvas so i have a drill here and i hope that didn't fall off my canvas so i did roll it back up i'm gonna move this guy and put it up here so i don't lose it and diamond art clubs canvases are amazing they just fall right flat you don't have to do anything you don't have to um, most of the time once you start working on it they just kind of fall flat on the edges on their own and they don't really roll up I did save this clear cover and put it back. I'm just kind of looking real quick to see if that drill fell off of any particular spot. And it doesn't look like it so far. Um, uh, yeah, as far as I can tell, I don't see anything. But I really enjoyed working on this one. There is just enough confetti and just enough color blocking that it doesn't make it like uh, tedious kind of, you know. Um, the, the panels are pretty confetti heavy. Um, you know, you, you do switch it up a lot on here. And then once you get into this, you do a nice little like gradient enough to where you can do like one section at a time. And, you know, not miss a color just the way that it was i didn't really have any popping drills a little bit but i feel like their spacing on here is just so perfect that you don't really have that problem you guys can see how incredibly shiny the drills are there's only one a b color which is one of the light blues up in here um there's a little bit here there's some down here and here in the blue pretty much every section of blue has some of the a b except for the light blue here it's mostly mixed in with the dark blue because it was let me see what sec 137 was the a b on this one and it was a light blue um the only thing that i didn't like working with the a b diamonds i've never worked with an a b diamond before um my painting does not express never have not come with any a b, a -B diamonds at all and so I didn't like the way that they felt putting them down with the the glue or like the wax. I don't know what it was. They just have a really strange feel to them and I didn't like it at all. Um, but yeah, I honestly just don't have any complaints other than I wish I would have gotten the bigger size. But again, like I said, I will not get the bigger size. Um, well, for one, because I already have a smaller size, but you know, the, the main reason that I will not get the bigger size is I just cannot fathom spending $80 on, um, a diamond painting. So yeah, you can see here, you guys are kind of decently pushed back. You know, you're, you're a couple feet away from the bottom of my desk, but the, this is the, the part here that I just felt like you really couldn't see, um, at all looking from above here. You, you can tell that this is supposed to be a mermaid here in the corner. Um, but when you're sitting, of course, as with most diamond paintings, when you're face to face with it, you cannot tell at all what it is. There's another one on this side. Again, in camera, it looks absolutely wonderful. And on the wall, this is going to look so cute. Um, and I think once I do um, try to find a frame for it that I probably might hang it in my girl's bathroom and do like a mermaid theme in there i i just really enjoyed it um i didn't like the look of the skin initially because it's a white um 
diamond like right here in the center of her face the center of her chest and then the center of her stomach here I just didn't feel like it looked right but when you're looking at it from far away you really can't tell that it's just like it's white it just blends in so smoothly with the peach that's right next to it that it looks okay so yeah I mean other than that I just I honestly don't really have any complaints about it um you know, it's it's a gorgeous canvas. Um, the gems are just so sparkly, and I'm just I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm gonna I'll put a link to the canvas in the description below, and um, you can if you use my link, you can actually get 10% off your Diamond Art Club order. And Diamond Art Club, the shipping is super affordable. It's like seven or eight bucks for all your order. Unless you order $75 or more, then your shipping is free. And it's always priority shipping, which is amazing. Um, I've always gotten my order within two days from them. But I, I believe they're coming out of Nevada. And I live in New Mexico. So we're super close. Um, but still, I mean, it just, their shipping, it's super affordable. I've never ordered less than $75. So, you know, you pick your battles. But yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say, honestly. Like, I don't have anything negative to say about the canvas other than the feeling of the AB. I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know why. It just was a really strange feeling for me. I might be the only weirdo who thinks that. But um, there it is. So, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you guys in the next video.